needed for someone to step forward and challenge incumbent state senator Arthur Wilhelmy and force him to defend his record, which has helped to decimate this state. But no one came forward, and I'm not waiting any longer. I'm going on offense. And today, I'm one mom who is taking on the machine of Chicago patronage politics represented by Senator Arthur Wilhelmy. What is somebody afraid of in a gerrymandered Democratic district? It was 38,000 to 16,000 votes for A.J. Wilhelmy. What is he afraid of? Why is he afraid of this candidate? Somebody tell me what he is afraid of. Because she's black, beautiful, and conservative. That's yeah, what he's smart. afraid of. Lynn's, you're out here. This is A.J. Wilhelmy's uh, office Correct. today, and a uh, pretty prominent place. You look like you're getting some support from the yes. uh, people going by. What what are you protesting today? Well, the uh, um, the Democrats have challenged Cedric's petition, and I, I copied uh, or I gathered several of the signatures, and they challenged. At first, they challenged her signatures and some technical challenges. Um, once they went through her signatures, they actually realized all her signatures were legitimate. They could only stick on these technical things that have failed everywhere else in the state. For some reason, everybody else in the state has decided that these technical uh, challenges don't um, don't fly. It's a long story, but but they're baseless. But this board is comprised of two Democrats and one Republican, and we filed uh, a motion six months ago to strike, and they still haven't even responded to it. So we've been in limbo. They're tying up our, our campaign by not um, by not ruling on it. And it's, uh, it goes against democracy. I I'm not sure what A.J. Wilhelmy's afraid of. I, I think he must be afraid of uh, himself voting to raise his pay, voting to raise taxes, while the you know state budget is uh, $13 billion in debt. So. I'm here because we need representation. We don't have any representation in Springfield. We have Democrats who are willing to take our state down the road of destruction. We are close to insolvency, and it doesn't seem to bother anybody. Uh, we have more lawyers than what we need in Springfield. Cedra Crenshaw is an accountant. Uh, she wants to open the books, she wants to audit the books, and we need that done, and Cedra's the one who can do it.